For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, the stretch length of AV is 3 meters. If the block is held in the equilibrium position shown, find the mass of block D. So this becomes a very, very, very easy problem. We have uh, three springs, spring AB, spring AC, and spring AD. So the force in spring AB is equal to the stretch length minus the unstretched length times K. That's the given formula for the force being developed by a spring. <coughs> now, the length from here to here right now, as you see it on the diagram, is the stretch length. And you can find it easily. Let's call it L of AB. Actually, let's call it S of AB because S is the stretch length. And it's equal to the square root by the Pythagorean theorem of this height 3 square plus the length 4 square. And this comes out to be 5. So S for AB is equal to 5 minus the unstretched length which is, which is given in the problem, which is 3. And the, the uh, constant of AB is 30 newtons per meter. So it's 30. And this gives you 60 newtons. That's the force of AB. Now that we have the force of AB, we can easily find the force of AC because the sum of the forces in the X is equal to zero in the equilibrium position. Therefore, assuming this orientation, let's assume this is the X and this is the Y. The force that AC, this force right here, we have this force right here and this force going straight down. In the X, the force going straight down is not doing anything. It's not leaning neither to the left nor to the right. So it's not a problem. So the force of AC and the force of AB minus the force of AC times the cosine of this angle right here. Let's call this angle theta. Theta is easily found by doing the tangent inverse of the opposite, which is 3, over the adjacent, which is 3. So 3 over 3 is the tangent inverse of 1. So theta is equal to 45 degrees. So minus FAC times the cosine of 45 degrees plus FAB times the cosine of this angle right here which is easily found by doing the tangent inverse of the opposite over the adjacent. The opposite is 3, the adjacent is 4, this length 4. So this angle is equal to 36.87 degrees. So cosine of 36.87 degrees. And that is equal to 0. But we already have FAB. We're going to plug it in right here. The 60 you plug in right here and you solve for FAC. And some basic algebra would tell us that FAC is equal to 67.9 newtons. Now that we have FAB and FAC, you know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero in equilibrium. Therefore, you just look at this diagram right here and you can easily find FAD. That's what we're looking for. So. FAD is coming down, so it's negative, minus FAD is coming straight down, plus FAC times the sine of 45 degrees, plus FAB times the sine of 36.87 degrees, and that is equal to zero. But we already have FAC and FAB, we found them right here, so you plug them in and you solve for FAD. And you get that the force developed in the spring FAD is 84 newtons. Now that you have the force, you don't really need to do much with the constants because the force right here will be the same as the force right here. And this is the weight. And this is FAD because this is FAD. So as you can see from this uh, free body diagram at the bottom, you know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to 0 again, therefore FAD minus the weight is equal to 0, so 
the weight is equal to FAD which is equal to 84 newtons. You know that the weight by definition is equal to the mass times the acceleration of gravity. So they're asking us for the mass of the block. So if the weight is 84 newtons, the mass is what we're trying to find and the acceleration of gravity is 9.81 meters per second square. So the mass is equal to 84 divided by 9.81, which comes out to be 8.56 kilograms. Final answer for the mass. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.